everyone. Uh, the topic we cover today is the steps of research process. So before going to the steps, just I wanted to say that what is a research? The research, the word itself, we can say it is a research. So re means again and again, and the search means searching. Means uh, find out some new things or existing knowledge will be expanding. So that is the simpler meaning of research. And as a definition, we can say that it is a systematic inquiry related to the certain question or certain issues or certain problem. So this is the simplest definition of research. And now we will see the steps of research processes. So it contains some important step and it is having some sub-step also. First we will see the main steps of research process. So the research process, we start with a, with a conceptual phase, that is the first one. Then it continue with a uh, design phase and there will be the third one, third is nothing but the empirical phase. The empirical phase, what it means, will be mainly collecting the data. Then it moves to the analytical phase and it ends up with the report, that means the dissemination phase. So these are the five important steps of research process. We will start with the first one, the conceptual phase. So in the conceptual phase, again it includes certain steps, we will see one by one. The conceptual phase, we start with the formulating the problem. So the prob this is a critical step of a research, in this the problem that is nothing but a question. That means the research, we start with a good question. Means we have to identify a problem. So that problem should be a feasible one. That means that we, have, we want to uh, go for a proper research and easily we want to get the sample everything. So all these things we have to consider while selecting the problem. That is the first step. That is nothing but the formulating a problem. This is the critical step of research process we can say. So it will continue with the next one, review the related re literature. So we need certain supporting studies or we need certain support for our problem so that we can get from the previous researchers or from the books or from the journals or from the, uh, and nowadays we can say even the internet we have, the publications we have. So from this we will get a uh, re related literature. So that is a second step of conceptual phase. Moving to the third one, it is nothing but undertaking clinical, uh, clinical field work. So here uh, it may be related to the problem or the event which, is, which comes under the clinical area, maybe uh, in the nursing setup or the medical setup or the surgical setup like that. Come to the next one, developing a conceptual framework. So the conceptual framework is nothing but, so all the research is having a base which is related to the theoretical basis we can say. Means when you take a, uh, when you go for a research study, we need the support of certain theory that already proven one. So that comes from uh, this particular stage developing a framework. And the next one, important one, formulating a hypothesis. The hypothesis is nothing but we can say it is simpler way, we can say it is an assumption statement that the researcher want to prove it. Or we can say it is the expectation of a researcher which shows the relationship between certain variables. So this is the hypothesis. So all these steps which comes under the first phase, that is the conceptual phase. Moving to the second one, the designing phase. So the designing phase which start with a research design. What is the research design? The research design is nothing but it is the overall plan or a blueprint of a research we can say. So there are different types of research design like a qualitative design or a quantitative design. The quantitative design is nothing but which relate, which in which we will go for a numerical data and the uh, qualitative design it is related to a non-numerical data in a simpler way we can say. So we will see which type of design I want to go. That will start with the designing phase. So come to the next one. It is related to the developing an intervention protocol. So this type, this step, it mainly will follow in an experimental study. In the experimental type of study, we need the modification of certain variables, what we call as an intervention. So that will be going for this particular experimental study only. Next one, designing the sampling plan. 
So what is a sampling plan? Means uh, uh, what we can say like a total population. What's our sample? The total population among that people we want to conduct the study. The examples may be like the nurses, those are working in a ICU setup, or that school teachers, or uh, what we can say the eligible couple of uh, area like that the total population to that people we want to go the research that is the sampling plan then we'll co go for the specifying mothers to measure the research so once you make the population first i told the sampling plan there we'll go for a uh, total population and we'll go for a proper sample because if it is working under a uh, means it is like a, a icu staff nurses we cannot go for entire staff nurses in the country or a particular state so we'll go for a subset of population that we call a sample so again there are different type of sampling we have like a, uh, probability sampling, non-probability sampling, like that certain techniques we have. So we'll select any of the sampling technique. From that, we'll go for the method of data collection. So what's a method we want to collect it. So that we'll call as a specifying methods for measuring research. So any of the data collection method may be like interview or it may be like a questionnaire method, rating scale, anyone will select in this particular stage. Come to the next one, developing mothers to safeguard subject. That is very, very important because most of the research they may be doing in animals or in a nursing setup if you observe, we are doing with the human being. So their uh, safeguarding of their human rights, their confidentiality, that is very, very important that we have to ensure by informed consent and we want to get the uh, approval from the ethical committee of the institution. Coming to the next one, the finalizing the research plan. So here what happens, the research plan what we made should be finalized. And if you want, it can be test or retest by a certain pilot study. And after that, we'll go for a final study. Okay, come to the next stage, that is the empirical stage. So in the empirical stage, that we can say like an action stage. So here what we'll do, so already we made the sample, we made the design, we made the data collection method, and we'll go for the collection of data. That is the first stage of this empirical phase, the collection of data. So we made certain method of uh, collection, maybe like a rating scale questionnaire. So with that one from the sample, we'll collect the data. And this data, what we'll do, it is uh, preparing for the data analysis. That is the next stage, empirical phase. The second stage is nothing but the preparing the data for uh, analysis. So here what we'll do, so already we collected the data. That data, what we'll do, we'll write in a book or diary or whatever thing, or nowadays computerized. So where what we'll do, it will be collected, organized in different way, uh, like uh, tables if you want to make or if you want to write down we'll make organize in a proper way so that comes the preparing for the data analysis and we'll move to the next phase so it is nothing but the exact analysis of data analysis phase we'll call in the analysis phase it include analysis of data and interpretation of the result so in the analysis of data the data what we collected already we arranged or kept in the empirical stage so here what we'll do the data we collected will be analyzed with the help of descriptive statistics or inferential statistics. So here we'll calculate the mean, median, mode, standard deviation, or any of the inferential statistics. The hypothesis what we made in the first phase will be analyzed exactly here with the help of certain tests like it may be chi-square test or PAT test or ANOVA, MANOVA like that. So many inferential statistical tests we have, any of the tests we'll be using here come to the last phase of uh, research that is the dissemination phase so the dissemination phase which includes uh, what we can say the communication of the research finding and utilizing the finding in the communication of research finding what we'll do so we have done all the study that will be reported to the other people that means here we'll make a report a proper report will make so necessary things will include other things will omit here and it may be written maybe like a uh, what we can say the dissertation in the form of a dissertation or thesis book will make it or if you want you can publish in the journals or you can uh, present this particular study in a professional conferences and it may be communicated with the other research scholars that is the 
uh, first step of disseminating phase that is the communication of research and the last one utilizing the findings so either utilizing the finding what happens so what you did the study will be utilized in your practice hmm? in the nursing profession means uh, if anyone did any research that the research will be uh, utilized in the maybe if it is related to the icu setup that area we can practice so that comes the last stage of uh, what we can say the uh, research processes so now we have seen what is the research and what are the various steps in research processes so that's all for today's class uh, this is vishan signing off till we meet the next class thank you